Hey, honey fish. 15th of September, 2018. And, uh, a lot to share here this morning. I, I simply came out this morning and Shabbat Shalom, by the way. And I, I literally, this is, this is how I do it. I either thumb through my Bible and wherever I open it, that's where I'll begin a study. And on the computer, I'll just hit a random Bible verse and whatever it lands on, that's where I'll begin a study. And today it landed on Psalm 23, which I thought was really interesting. <laughs> but nonetheless, I go over to Bible Gateway and of course there are 150 psalms and i'm not going to read them all so i literally just swirl my my cursor around in there and i close my eyes and i click and it landed on psalm 92 okay that's great so you know i'm just going to read from psalm 92 and, I, and and until you know i'm done however long that might be so i do that but as i'm reading I notice a few things. I, I suggest to everybody go and read at least these three psalms that I'm going to show you because they're they're really short and they're very very uh, inspiring and informational and it's the word you know it's good stuff. So I'm reading along here and I get to uh, verse four and it says, "For thou Lord hast made me glad through thy work; I will triumph in the works of thy hands." Triumph, okay. And I continue on, and I go to Psalm 93, okay? And I'm reading, it's very short. The Lord reigneth, he's clothed with majesty. But look down here at verse 3. The floods have lifted up. O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves, okay? And then I continue on to Psalm 94. This is, I'm just reading along, you know. And I get to Psalm 94, I get to verse 3, and again, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Okay, so I'm going to go back to 93 for a second. Remember Flight 93, remember Trump, remember all that stuff, right? Well, you know, I was looking over his speech there, and uh, I had to go back to it because there was something in here that, you know, I had overlooked actually there's a lot in this um, but it's just too much for me but I do want you to listen to just this one little section here where he's talking about the Tower of Voices earlier this week you dedicated the final part of this memorial the Tower of Voices standing at 93 feet tall Okay, I'm just going to stop right there. The Tower of Voices, standing at 93 feet tall. Psalm 93, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The floods have lifted up their voice. The 93-foot Tower of Voices, Psalm 93. And not only that, I mean, the 93, I never really got into the number 93 with you guys. But it literally, in a nutshell, is shorthand for uh, do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. That's what it is. I mean, in the Masonic world, it has a couple other different meanings. And you can take the two separate numbers, 9 and 3, and have separate meanings. You can add them together and have separate meanings. But the 93 as it is being spoken by this crew, which Trump may or may not know he's as deep into this as he is, but he's deep into this. And this is all just Lucifer pulling his plan together to erect his new Tower of Babel, essentially, the new one world order. Okay, so that's what it is. So and, and 93 is bookended by two chapters that have triumph in them okay and when i saw that triumph okay both sides of 93 this is just how my mind works and how things come to me it caused me to take trump and triumph because you know they're almost identical so i take trump and triumph and i put it into a, a search engine 
And one of the articles I came up with was right here, the, this Economist article, which I'll link all these. This is just from a couple of years ago as he was running for president. Trump's triumph. Look what happens. You drop the I, you drop the H, and you drop the S. And what do you have? You have I, H, S. And I mean, I'm sorry, you guys, but where did Trump begin his uh, extracurricular studies? At the Jesuit University of New York. That's where. And this is directly linked to the Society of Jesus. Remember the triple tau that I showed you before? There it is, right there. And what's this symbol also very well known in, okay? We can go through so many things. Right there. This is what you're talking, this is what we're dealing with. When when Trump went to visit the Pope, right? The, the whole purpose of that was that he had to go before his boss. But more or less, that's what it is, because... This man is not the vicar of, to Jesus like he, they claim he is. He's the vicar to Lucifer. And when these people come before him, you got to have respect. Why do you think Melania looks like she's at a funeral? And he's even in black, with the black striped tie. This is all just part of their ritual. That's all it is. I'm sorry to tell you. And this whole speech of Trump's was just a continuation of it. But this isn't really the, the crux of what I want to get at. When I did the triumph, the Trump's triumphs, I mean, this is the craziest thing. And don't forget, this is in The Economist, right? The same magazine that had Trump last year in all these scenarios, right? The Tower, the Judgment, okay? So when I when I saw the IHS, the tr it caused me to think of the arch of triumph remember that arch was making its rounds all around the world the replica of the roman arch of baal okay that's what this derives from rome that's where the triumphal arch was born was through rome well really through lucifer but that's what it is so it's the roman connection the Triumphal Arch. I did a search on the Triumphal Arch to see where, if anywhere, it is because I searched for it not too long ago and found nothing. Check this out. The Arch is coming back. And you'll never guess where. Washington, D.C. And when? On September 26th. <laughs> Couple weeks. The Arch of Palmyra, the Arch of Baal, will be in Washington, D.C. And on top of that, unfortunately, I don't have my Google Earth. This isn't the same computer, but they provide us with a little map. And you won't believe where this thing is going to be. I wish I had my Google Earth open, but, you know, pretty much everybody's familiar with the unfinished pentagram in Washington, D.C. You can see the outline of it right here. Okay, this piece is missing. Well, they're putting their arch right here. And you can look at that many ways. You can look at that as the crown jewel, because that forms the crown of this creature. I call it the spider. Okay, because that's what it is. Thus saith the spider. Okay, so that's the crown jewel of the spider's crown. And it's also right between the ears of the Goat of Mendes, because that's what's formed right here, the Goat of Mendes. And there he is. He's upside down there. Let me get him upside up here for you. Goat of Mendes, and they're putting their arch right, right on his forehead, okay? And don't forget, when you turn this upside down, it's also known as the Star of Lucifer, but in its origins, that symbol was actually more of a Christian symbol, and it was used to for protection. But when the pentagram is broken, that allows the spirits to come in. It allows, it's a snare. It's literally a snare. 
to snare you into temptation. And it's right smack in the middle of Washington, D.C. And it's, if you look in the middle of the, the unfinished pentagram, you'll see the pentagon right here in the middle. And that'll be right at the crown of the pentagon. Right? Notice it's the west side of the pentagon that isn't finished. Just like it was the west side of the pentagon that was hit by a missile on 9-11. Okay? This is all a giant ritual. That's all I'm trying to show you. I wish I had my other maps. I could show you a lot more. But that's what you're looking at. And their arch is going to be there on the 26th of September. Which conveniently happens to be the same time that they're having all these giant important UN meetings. Right? Where Trump is supposed to make some big announcements and all kinds of things are supposed to happen. Right? On top of that, the Jews, they, they think that they're celebrating uh, Sukkot that week, which is off, but nonetheless, right smack dab in the middle of Sukkot, three days after the fall equinox, the Triple Tau. Remember? I know, this can be confusing. You know, forgive me, but this is, this is just what's given to me. The Triple Tau, which represents the equinox, the... Uh, royal arch of masonic uh you know what i mean it's just all there but bottom line is this ritual that god is allowing because it has to happen is really winding up here man i mean this is a big deal you know in my spirit it's a big deal and you know god's telling us this is this is coming to its climax here that that you really need to be ready because his hand is moving. And when it does, you know, you want to be ready. Let no man deceive you. Because there is some great deceptions that are coming. Very great deceptions. So you need to be vigilant. Always, always praying. Always seeking his face. I'm telling you right now. That's what you got to do. And, uh, yeah, this could go on forever. You know, the ties to the Vatican are very intriguing you know let's not forget this arch was in new york city a couple years ago too right at the same time of year they love this autumn equinox it's a big deal to them i'm just telling you this is how they operate you know and don't forget this is for in from syria it's roman but it's from syria where is everything coming to a head syria right israel and the Vatican is just on the ropes. I mean, they're calling this whole scandal thing their own 9-11, okay? They're saying, this is their words, there's a civil war in the Catholic Church, okay? Really? The Catholic Church is breaking apart, right? It's all by design. They have to destroy it all in order to raise up their one world order their Tower of Babel. That's what's being rebuilt right now. And guess what? God's going to destroy it again. Except this time, it ain't going to be... Oh, man. I just don't know how else to put it, you guys. Get close to Jesus and stay there. I mean, every day, every waking moment. You know, if you want to learn more about this stuff, you know, feel free. I mean, I, I put links and I... You know, I try to just make it as clear and as simple as I can without getting into the nitty-gritty because you don't really need to go into the nitty-gritty to see this stuff. It's obvious. <laughs> it's, it's manifest all around you. You need only to look and to seek the truth with a sincere, humble heart. Okay? And know that no man, no flesh is going to pull you out of this dark pit. Only Jesus. It's the only way, the only door, the only gate, the only light. You need to seek him. Because this is all coming to an end. There's a lot more. I'll probably be back so I can use the maps too. It's just amazing. But anyway, Shabbat Shalom to y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord.
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 